Here we go. The ITF family. Is there any better place to be? The thing about the ITF is it brings people together. We stand together in a way that our diversity makes things happen. We're proud about who we are. We're proud about our differences. Our differences bring us together. You don't get two and a half thousand people in a room like this, in a place like Singapore, where we can be combined by our diversity and not the things that keep us apart, that we're creating a world for the many and just not the few. What a wonderful thing. What a wonderful achievement. The ITF can change the world. ITF, they are one of the areas of strength and backbone for the entire global trade union movement. And why wouldn't I be here? We are a few of us are here, but our workers back home are happy that we are part of them and we are representing them here. Here we are going to meet other partners, other stakeholders and other secretaries and other delegates from other countries who've managed to successfully organise the informal transport sector. I'm so honoured that we are able to have it at this Congress in Singapore here. More than 2,300 delegates and participants. Wow! The mighty ITF. Here you are. Fantastic, and I want to bring you greetings from 207 million workers around the world, of which you're a key part. Give yourselves a big hand. Our Malays, our Indians, our Chinese and our Eurasian brothers coming together, seeking diversity in strength. We have a virtual reality cinema which will be either flying in Argentina, either operating a ship to shore crane in Poland, or driving a train through the foothills of the Himalayas. I'd like to nominate a person for the General Secretary, my friend, my brother, Steve Cutler. We all in favour of the recommendation of Steve Cutler as the next General Secretary of the 44th Congress of the ITF. Please be upstanding. Stephen Cotton, the new General Secretary of the ITF. What a man. When you asked us to change in Sophia, you laid out a work program, including the four levers of power, to give us the opportunity to support more union power that represents each and every one of you at the highest possible level. And it's absolutely crucial that we own that transformation, individually, but also as leaders in the union. It's about us showing you we've got the confidence, the determination, and the desire to make a difference. privilege to stand here in front of you and to introduce to you the video that you are about to see. We want to share with you a story of courage, perseverance and success. The ITF's Our Public Transport or OPT program builds the industrial and political power of unions in target cities and companies. Privatization has been an issue for our railway workers for decades. Rights violations and widespread human trafficking continue unabated in the fishing industry today. Qatar Airways is an anti-union airline in a country with weak labor legislation. Com uma colaboração global pioneira, a ITF Woman trabalhou com 19 afiliadas em 11 países em um programa de defesa da mulher. It was inspiring. Sisters and brothers, we should give our sisters a round of applause again. I was pessimistic about the future, but now I see 
better times ahead. If we can organise Ryanair, we can organise everywhere. I'm just saying what everybody should say. Brothers and sisters, no retreat, no surrender. No one bought you here. You choose to make a difference. You know the ITF is the difference. We are now on the verge of something great, and that's about you. Thank you very much. I say union, you say power. Union! Stand up! I say union, you say power! Union! Union! Stand up, find your voice! I say union, you say power! Union! Union!